What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got some market talk, we got some snipe tips, we pretty much got everything, pretty much. A lot of stuff to go over, and um, yeah, in this video, before we get into the video, obviously, be sure to drop the like, drop the sub, 110 likes in the video, we'll do it some giveaways on Twitter, make sure to follow my Twitter down below. Before we do get in this video, let's run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And guys, today we're gonna go over some tips. Um, I've been noticing the market is a lot hotter, so I'm expecting some tension might bring us to a March Madness Provo tomorrow, or should I say today? So I'm gonna drop this video really early because honestly, I think a huge market crash is coming. I guess we'll see. Cause honestly, something's coming. And a lot of the market's kind of high. So if you are watching this video, you have some pink diamonds that are sellable. Oh, uh, it's not really a snipe. You have some pink diamonds that are sellable. Some diamonds that are, are sellable. Oh, that's, that's good. I missed it. You should probably end up selling them in this video. If you have opals, I would not recommend selling the opals. I would probably recommend keeping your opals for now. Considering the fact that opals kind of are high right now you could sell them but if content drops and you end up selling your opals you might take a big l oh these are good snipes so my tips to you guys obviously sell obviously sit on this ami filter bro this is the best filter in the game the diamond filter has been absolutely absurd too i don't know what's going on but something has me thinking that something got leaked out because with the market moving oh that's a snipe oh no that was a big snipe he goes for a lot um but uh lately man oh oh i missed it oh i missed it no yes i got it that's a huge w he's like 5k um i've been noticing a couple things um the market's really hot right now so first off selling your cards huge w second off if you're on this filter another w pretty much what's going on since they did drop those solos a lot of people are actually doing them shout out to you if you're doing them because honestly that's a lot of grind oh give me that oh um that's a lot of grinding i cannot afford to do i don't have the time to grind so i'm honestly not gonna do the solos it kind of does suck i should do them but i don't have enough time i do work every day so with the kids who cannot do the solos some tips are pretty simple straight up amethyst filter man the amethyst filter is so flowed out right now i love it it's so beautiful and if you guys have the time to hop up on this filter it is so good i've been sitting on this filter pretty much oh it's not really nah, it's all right i've been sitting on this filter and my mt is actually going up so much my auction outcomes is through the roof and i will sit on this filter for the rest of the day now what you guys should be doing preparing for new content simply selling your cards simply selling your diamond your pink diamonds oh give me that aha we're on fire right now um simply sell your cards hop on this filter get dribble your mt and not only that when new cards drop when march madness cards drop which i think that's very possible if they do drop we're gonna have a huge market crash bro everyone's home everyone's buying mt everyone's buying packs so with that being said in order for you guys to prepare man i just I'm dropping this video early Pretty much sell your cards and hop on these filters. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm trying to think. This is my also another tip for you guys. So if they do drop Amethyst and Diamonds on there, the Amethyst filter and the Diamond filter will be so hot. Like you could snipe cards on every refresh. That's why I'm showing you these filters. These filters, this filter pretty much is the only one I sit on. This one and the Diamond filter. I honestly like the Amethyst filter a lot more. I feel like it's a lot more flow than the Diamond, but it's annoying when you get like Purvis shorts pop up. But for instance, bro, diamonds have a lot of value. You can snipe out a diamond Kobe for 1K. You can snipe out a Giannis for 1K. Um, obviously, there's more risk. There's more reward. There's more patience. Oh, that's a good one. I missed it. 
Um, pretty much, bro. This night filter always guarantees. Like, if new content drops with diamonds and amethyst, that's why I love this filter especially. Not only that, when the market does crash, this filter is a money. It's literally every refresh a money snipe. So, I literally, I don't know what to say. Like, I straight up just sit on this filter 24-7. Oh, that's a good one. I missed it. Oh, we missed it. I love how right when we refresh in a different way, that pops up. That actually gets me so pissed off. Um, hmm, let me think. We got this night filter. We got the amethyst night filter. We got this night filter, which is my one of my new favorites night filters because it's crazy, man. Everything that pops up is a snipe, unless it's a bronze. Honestly, some bronzes do go for a lot. I heard the Hawks players go for a lot. But pretty much anything that hops up besides Dort and some bronzes, you should snag. Like that guy right there, probably resell him for around 1500 or something like that. Um, put your thing to around 900 If an Amethyst pops up, if a Ruby pops up, if a Sapphire pops up, it's an auto buyout. Like you must buy it. This night filter is also money considering the fact they dropped all those sim challenges. And I'm going to show you how many cards I did buy. This is all from about 15 minutes on the game. Um, all these cards that I did actually are huge snipes. Like that Paul George, I mean, 20 zone for 6k. I got him for 1k. So, pretty much. Also, if the new content does drop, you should definitely freaking, what's it called? Definitely try out certain filters. Like, if you don't like this one, you could switch over to the 600 filter. But I feel like that was ruined. Actually, this filter is actually kind of good now because now those current 20s have value. So everything that pops up is now a definite snipe besides, I guess, the old current ones. Because now everything in the collection has value. So if everything in the collection has value, pretty much anything that hops up on this filter, like right there, I missed it. Yeah, I way missed that. That goes for like a 1,000. I'll make a quick 400 MT in one second. So with that being said, those are my three best snipe filters that I'm going to show you guys during this new content. This is literally the best snipe filters ever. I've never seen more consistent snipe filters in 2K than this diamond and amethyst filter. Obviously, it's just diamond and amethyst filter, but it's the way, like, how actually value and how quick these cards actually do pop up. Like, I've never seen this. Last year, obviously, it was there, but it wasn't as good as this year. And especially during switches of content, you're going to notice over as the days go on, it's going to turn in, the diamond filter is going to turn to pink diamond. I mean, the diamond filter is going to turn into the amethyst, the pink diamond is going to turn to the diamond, and... You're going to see a switch. The Ami Su's soon going to be Ruby filter because it's going to be no value. And if you guys remember, a ton of Amethyst about two weeks ago were going for around 1,500 MT. Now they're up to around 2,200. So if you pretty much invested in any Amethyst for 1,500 MT, you're going to make a ton of MT. That's another tip for you guys. So, like, literally, I honestly just hope you do follow these tips. I'm trying to think. What other tips do I got for you? Give me that. These cards... If you pop, if you pop up, if any NBA 20, whatever series that is, a new 20 series, if anything does pop up, it's an auto snipe. And honestly, for the video, that's really all I got. Like, I'm literally just going to tell you, just sit on this snipe filter. Oh, oh, I missed it. I'm so bad at sniping, man. Damn it. That was a good one. I would have made a KMT real quick. Um, Let me think. On this filter, if a Rudy Gobert pops up, he goes for around 9K if... Um, SGA pops up, Jason Tatum, those old cards, missed that. Because why are kids putting up the bid and the buyout differently? It's so damn annoying. Give me that. Got that one. There we go. Um, he's going for like 2,600. If you guys invested in David Thompson's for around 1,200 MT, you are literally a millionaire. You are actually a millionaire. So congrats if you did that. But yeah, guys, that is all I got for the video. I'm done spinning my nonsense. Get on this filter right now. Let me know how it goes. And honestly, if you get any crazy snipes on this filter, let me know. Let me know how much you made per hour, per half an hour, and whatnot. But yeah, that's, like I said, man, that's all I got. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to hit that smell button. Let's go.